well we are back at it again do you like my hair today uh the official symbol of disney yeah that's me i'm still trying to get better at packing my puffs yeah i have a few extensions but it's summertime it's hot it's always nice when i could rock this i'm trying to be better at it hello how are you my name is daisy doll welcome to my channel if you're new here uh so happy to have you now if you've already been here ah uh, <laughs> super excited that you're back again to hang out with me and of course if you're a new subscriber omg i'm so happy that you're here welcome to the party today i really just want to show you what it feels like to actually pack and feel organized and feel stress-free and light and super ready to go. I just came back from a couple of trips recently. It was packing this, packing that. What can I take? What can I take? How many options can I give myself for outfits? How many shoes should I bring? There were a lot of questions. The best part about it is there were a few hacks that I discovered that helped me to actually have the best packing experience. When it comes to packing for your trip, whether you're traveling for like a couple of days or if you're traveling for a week or two weeks whatever it may be these hacks that I'm about to share with you will make you feel so much better hack number one would be a compression packing cube this is a packing solution that I did get it is called bag smart I loved using this for my trip so much I was a little bit skeptical I was like how is this supposed to actually help me but believe me <laughs> It really does help. It has different sizes of packing cubes and they're all compression. And I think it came with like a laundry and a shoe bag as well. I will put the link in the description just in case you wanna go grab these. What I will do is I will show you how to actually pack your items into this so that you're able to pack as much as you want for your trip and your carry-on and you feel great about it. My second tip is to make sure that you actually plan your outfit. I know nobody wants to plan an outfit or sometimes you wanna plan an outfit, but guess what? It's so hard. You wanna take this, you wanna take that. The truth is a lot of times when you pack extra stuff anyway, you end up not using that. The best thing for you to do, plan your outfit, you know, figure out what pants are gonna go with what shirt? What dress are you gonna wear? When you figure those things out, it makes it easier for you to be able to say, okay, I now know what I'm taking with me and now I could pack those items. Now, piggybacking off of that tip, the thing is you wanna choose outfits that can be flexible to work with other items in your suitcase. Now, when I selected these clothing items, I did my best to make sure I selected things that were also neutral palette items as well as colorful items. The thing about having these types of pairings is that you could always mix and match. You know, like I have a top here that's more like a nude color and it actually comes with a skirt. But I know that if I want, I could always pair this up with um, some black pants or some gray pants that I have here. Choose items that you could mix and match. Like this would go with this, but also if I wanted to wear this with this, I could. If I wanted to wear this with more of a neutral color, I could. So just having pieces that can be interchangeable like that truly does help the process of having options or feeling like you have more options when you pack your carry-on luggage. The other tip that I would like to give is when it comes to packing your toiletries, you know, you wanna take your lotion, you wanna take your favorite perfume. I I would recommend one of the best things you could do for yourself is just get one of those toiletry bags that already comes with its own travel TSA approved container. It matches the measurements that are approved by TSA. So another thing that you might be thinking, well, if I use these packing cubes, especially compression packing cubes, and I'm rolling up all these nice clothes into that, especially if you're taking a carry-on, wouldn't my clothes get all wrinkled up? 
it depends on the clothing and also it depends on how long you're gonna be flying I actually just went ahead and got myself a steamer slash iron so that you don't have to worry about your clothes and you know you feel like they could be crisp and fresh when you do get to wear them so there are definitely some best practices best practices is what I would say of how to actually pack your clothes into the compression cubes now in this example I'm looking at about maybe six or seven outfits that I'm about to pack into this carry-on luggage that I have here as you see um, I've already combined which looks I feel would go together. I got my socks, clothes, sleepwear, all of that, all here organized. This here combines into about, I believe six to eight outfits. My goal is to get all those outfits into this luggage. So if you saw my other Amazon must have videos uh, for traveling, this was one of the luggages that I got. I got this carry-on size and I got a bigger size as well. Now for that trip, I did use the bigger size, but I put everything inside the compression packing cubes and oh my goodness, it made life so much easier. If you want to purchase this, bag this carry-on luggage i definitely will have it linked in the description i want to get all those items that i showed you in here we will start with packing the compression cubes first so the first thing i'm going to do is use the biggest size compression packing cube that i have from the bag smart packing cube set that I got from Amazon. This is the size. It looks kind of small, but you should see what it can do. I pretty much would pack the thicker, bigger, maybe bulkier items into this bigger compression packing cube. You also want to make sure that all the zippers are actually open. And then now I can go ahead and start to pack my items in here. This is all you have to do. That's it. You're all packed, you're set. No, <laughs> just kidding. First thing I would probably pack is this. This is like a bigger, thicker clothing item. I just fold that up a little bit. And then I pack it in. Pro tip, you wanna make sure that when you're packing items, especially the bulkier items, make sure you fold them in the shape of the packing cube. So this shape like this, I folded this outfit into that shape. Something about doing that makes it easier to actually pack your items. This is more like a work top that I'm going to be using. I fold this up as well. So right now we have one, two, three, four, five. This is me using the method of let me pack shirts separately from pants. I have one more shirt. Here we go. Let's see. Let me close this up. So that's the first zipper closed. Now, this is closed, but it's not compressed closed. Now let's move on to make it more compressed. Alrighty. There you go. There you go. Sometimes you might have to just do a little squeezing on the side, but it's not super difficult. Especially again, when you put the clothes in the method that I said, where you make sure it's shaped in the shape of the cube, it's actually 
you know, it makes it easier to close. So there you go. First compression cube packed. I think I'm gonna go with the second biggest size to use to pack some pants. Again, you wanna make sure that you open that extra zipper. Here's what you do, you just open this extra zipper up before you pack anything into the packing cube. It makes the packing easier to do. From this thickness, you're like, wait, like, how many pants can we fit? Well, let's see. Now, if you just got a regular packing cube, this literally would be it. Like, you wouldn't be able to compress any of the sides at all. This is why I really, really recommend getting the compression. There you have it. Oh, I think I fit four pants into this. Isn't that amazing? You see, I was putting this down and I was like, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> That's why I said you gotta open this part up. As you see, it's like a variety of clothing items. I have shirts, I have skirts, I have, you know, shorts, I have, you know, work tops, thicker tops, lighter tops. Let's take a look. It looks like there's a lot going on. As you see, it's even rising above the thickness here. But again, the best part about compression cubes is once you close everything down and you're able to zip it up, that's it. One, two, three, four, five, six. I have six clothing items in here. By the way, this video is not sponsored by BagSmart, but who knows, maybe one day they will. Let me show you all the items now. Now, my next step is to put them into the carry-on. Kenzie 20 inch luggage. I feel like the max I could probably fit in here is maybe two pairs of shoes, plus the one that I would be wearing on my feet. That would make it about three pairs of shoes that I'm taking on this trip. The good thing about BagSmart is they actually have a shoe slash laundry bag. So this is the toiletry bag with all your toiletries and you can now put that in here. What do you do when you get to your destination and you wanna wear these clothes but they're wrinkled up? This is what I'm talking about. It is a portable iron, portable steamer. So this is gonna get put right here. Just simply tuck it in. 
we have successfully packed this carry-on luggage that's 20 inches with eight outfits and a few extra stuff as well Alrighty. oh wow Ooh. so now let's zip it up there we go uh, is that just the easiest zip up ever wow oh my god look at that and the expandable portion is not open Okay, so, you know, some people might be like, oh my God, she's putting this carry-on on her bed. Uh, I haven't used this carry-on yet. I've used the bigger um, luggage for it. So this is brand new, it's not dirty. Let me put this down so we can see what it looks like. As you see, it is all packed up, ready to go. And it is actually, well packed if i wanted to add an extra maybe five outfits i could and then use the expandable zipper so those are my hacks my packing tips and tricks that you could use to essentially have a stress-free best packing experience when it comes to packing your luggage for traveling thank you so much for watching it was so nice having you here if you haven't subscribed yet please consider subscribing it helps push the video out to other people like you like us who want the best packing experience okay i will talk to you in my next video all right bye